Manakam, Sai Ram. So we've always seen men rolling on the floor in front of the chariot on third day, and we've also seen you do it, and we were just wondering about it. You mean Andhra Pradesh? No? Yeah. yeah. Is it okay if we ask a couple of questions? Of course, yes. So what is Anga Pradakshina and what does it mean? Anga. Anga means body. The word Pradakshanam, pra, beginning or commencement. Dakshanam refers to right side. In this case, clockwise direction. So literally, Anga Pradakshanam means rolling around clockwise direction and in my thing, it's rolling around the temple in clockwise direction. And this needs a lot of preparation, like fasting for whatever the number of days. On the day, definitely, you have to fast. And then clean yourself internally and externally. And Asia, of course, there are ponds in the temple where you can sprinkle the water and start the rolling. Whereas here, the priest blesses the devotee, sprinkle water, and then the devotee is supposed to pray, lay down, and then start the rolling. What do Hindus generally believe about this? General belief is men do this to, for their desires to be fulfilled. Right? And they believe that this is a strong ritual, powerful ritual. It is also a way of thanking God for the success. And what do you believe about Anga production? I believe in Mother Earth. Right? We walk, we stand, we sleep, we roll around, but we don't realize that we take it for granted. Right? We also destroy what she creates. Right? So for me, Anga Prasashram is a very good way of saying thank you, Mother Earth, and also to say sorry. Do you have any of your own experiences relating to Anga Prasashram? Yes, my own experience. In December 2005, I had a heart attack due to my negligence of health and fitness. And when I was taken to the hospital for bypass surgery, I thought of Sai Ganesha. And I said to myself, I will be doing Anga Pradachana if I come out of that. Six months later, in July, I wanted to do that. I spoke to the temple management and they said that I should get the approval from my cardio consultant. I did that. I also discussed this with one of my close friends who is a, a member of the medical team in Sri Kanamati Temple. She okayed it. The problem was getting approval from my family, which I managed to do that. And um, that's it. After that, I prepared myself. On the day, I, when we were starting, I looked at the family, friends. I laid down, I could see a lot of worried faces. I close my eyes and always in situations like this, I chant Gayatri Mantra. So I started chanting Gayatri Mantra and started rolling. Um, how old were you when you first did Anga Pradeshram? When I first did Anga Pradeshram, I was 60 years old. And now I'm 78 years old. So you mentioned the Gayatri Mantra before. What effect does it have? 
Gayatri Mantra is very powerful. For me, everything. Whenever I'm in distress, whenever I'm successful, always that comes automatically. And I every day do my exercises and it is Gayatri Mantra which takes me through. Do you still continue with Anga Pradesh? Of course, yes, I will continue with the uh, um, as long as the health permits. And um, who has supported you during your spiritual journey? Brother was there on the day. He always is there for me on the day and he will do all the needful. And of course my family and friends around. But the main thing is the vibration you get from chanting Gayatri Mantra, the devotees singing Tervarams, Bhajans, that creates a very good environment and you forget everything. First time when I did this, July 2006, the lady I mentioned, Ramana auntie, she decorated me with bandages and plasters and made sure that don't worry Siva, I will be there for you. And that gave me the confidence. And the main thing when you are doing Anga Pratishnam is the surrounding. The devotees singing Tervarams, Bhajans, and of course, some devotees continue with Gayatri Mantra. And that will give you a very good vibration. And as you said, it is a spiritual journey. And that will take you through. And the thought that Swami is with you, you don't have to worry about anything. And that's what took me through. Right? So will you do the Anga production this year at the Chariot Festival? Yes, of course. I'm planning to do that. Who else do you think should be participating in Anga production? This is a very good question. Every young Hindu man should do Anga Pradeshanam at least once in their lifetime. The experience from that, it is very difficult to explain. Every time I do Anga Pradeshanam, everyone at the end say, are you okay? But I feel that I'm 10 times better than I was before the Anga Pradeshanam. The spiritual power and the guidance you get moving around it's immense. And every time at the completion, after the blessings of the place, I normally stay for the bhajan. And several times doing arati, that's saying thank you, Lord. And it was fantastic. So answering your question, yes, every young man should experience that in his lifetime, at least once. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Sarah.